right, who's ready for some action in the light heavyweight division? Introducing first, fighting out the blue corner. He stands at six foot two inches tall, weighing at fight time at 213 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, Dennis Prado! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He stands at six feet even, weighing at fight time at 208.6 pounds. Fighting out of Azusa, California, representing Azusa Boxing Club, Mark Batras! Sounds like you brought the crowd with him. All right, I got a feeling this fight's gonna start quick. Yeah, I'm not uh, anticipating much of a feeling out process. Okay. All right, here we go. Touch gloves. Somebody's O has got to go. <laughs> Ooh, big hunk. Right away, right, right away, Dennis looking to throw. He, you could, you could just feel the power. Oh. Tricky situation there, he threw a knee, but right as he was shooting, and working on the arm lock here. Straight arm lock here. It can be hard to finish that. See if he uses it to set up the arm bar here. Oh, and he's out. Dennis swarming here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Dennis breaks loose. See some more big shots here. That right hook, left hand combination really worked for him last time. Let's see if he goes back to it. Oh, going to the body. Big knee. Right in front of us here. Mark is carrying all that weight right now, too. That can be really tiring. It's a big guy to have on top of you. Mark's got to do something. Let's see what Dennis does with this position here. Let's him back up again. Here we go. Dennis definitely wants, he definitely wants that knockout. knockout. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Dennis with the southpaw stance. Again, with the southpaw stance, yeah. you can't yeah. stress enough. Circling to the outside foot. Right the there, outside. We, saw, we saw Mark a few times circling to the inside and getting caught with the right, right hand right. and straight left to the body. That, 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 that straight back hand always lines up, you know, when you're fighting, you know, unorthodox lead. And, and Dennis did a great job at using that hook to cut his angle to drop that cross. That was beautiful. bad shot and get stuck on bottom. It's just gonna take too much of your energy away, you know? Put him on the cage, work the body a little bit. You know, no big risks. I feel like if it wasn't for some of those shots, he wouldn't have ended up on bottom. He'd, he'd have some more energy coming into the second. right away, looking to establish that range, oh. trying to stay on the outside, use his length. Mark has his, there we go. Mark has his hands dangerously low. Yes. Dennis throws him off. That, that, 
that lead hand of Mark is very low and just leaving an opening for a right hook from Dennis. Yeah. Yep. Nice inside kicks though. He really needs to start setting those up though. He really needs to start setting those up. I oh. like the use of them, but he needs to set them up. There's another one. He shot right into a knee for a second time. But I think he's gonna finish this. Is he gonna finish this takedown? No. A little bit of, here you go, get your, get back you might want to get those here. hands up, Mark. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Let's see if Mark can get it back inside here. Yeah, he right wants to get that takedown. He's looking for it. Utilizing those kicks well. What I'd like to see is Dennis counter those kicks since they're not being set up with a straight left hand. Now, Dennis is from a boxing club, correct? So, you know, probably maybe not a lot of time defending kicks. Might be a great strategy to keep, keep going to the well on those. Definitely scoring himself some ball. Oh. They win end the round. Yeah, and, and that right there is why you want to keep your hands in front of your face. It always scares me when guys do that limbo defense where they just try to bend over backwards out of the way. You've got to be very, very agile to use that as a right as a defense. Right. Yeah. Until you're a professional, you know, my my opinion is, hey, hands up. We got to learn the rules first before we start breaking them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's Some of the stuff I run into with guys in the gym and they go, oh, well, you know, Pacquiao does this or Mayweather does that. And well, how about you're not Pacquiao? <laughs> you know. Let's build the bases. But yes, exactly. All right, five fans. Make some noise for the third and final round. Here we go. So it's looking like, not sure on that second one, but... I think probably gonna give that to Dennis too. Mark's really gotta do something big here. Oh, Dennis coming out on fire here. Dennis wants this finish. He's hanging on to the wrist there. Let's see if he takes the back here. Or should he just stand back up? I need one. And the back up to the feet. Both fighters surprised me with their cardio. Both of them still looking for big guys. They're still moving. They're still moving. Let's see if Dennis can work some more of that boxing in. And Mark just keeps shooting from outside. Yeah, he didn't set that shot up with anything at all. Yeah. Mark with his mouthpiece out of, you know, hanging out, mouth wide open. Yep, and we can hear his corner telling him to keep his hands up. Just uh, sound advice. You just feel like Dennis is inches away from a knockout here. Yeah, yeah. This fight is slowly tilting, isn't it? Longer it goes, you go, that, that big punch is coming. It's coming sooner or later. Big wolfing. Oh, it looks like that kid hurt Mark. Looks like he got it right on the knee. Yeah, kick the knee. How many times does that happen in training, right? A zillion. This fight in good position, not, not lose it. Yep, and the boxer is going to finish with the back. How about that? Mark really looks like he hurt his foot here. Yeah. Kick, kicking a knee does it hurts. That hurts, that hurts. I'll just score that one. I think it's pretty cut and dry there. I think we, um, 
I feel like Blue Corner won that fight, you know. Um, Mark just, you know, a lot. He, again, a lot of those bad shots really cost him, you know. We've seen that a couple times today, you know, where when you're in a fist fight like this, you know, more important than doing something great is not doing anything stupid. I mean, several times we saw him take a shot and put himself in a bad position, you know, doing doing the work for his opponent. Yeah, I'd like to see Mark go back and do a little bit more training, really uh, work on his transitional game from his boxing into right. his wrestling, yes. and then come back for another one here. I don't think this should be the end for him. No, I, I, I guess what we saw, he did a lot of things well. He landed a lot of kicks. A lot of kicks. I mean, arguably could have took the second round on a lot of those kicks Just he did. Kicks. They were doing Not damage. You know, but but I think a, a little sounder game plan, if he would have stuck with the, those kicks, keeping his hands up and jabbing, probably would have got a lot, lot more mileage out of that than trying to take those shots early on and getting stuck on bottom. Absolutely. All right, Fight fans, make some noise one more time for these big, light, heavyweight sluggers. After three hard-hitting rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for their decision. Judge Larry Landless scores about 30-27, while judges Doc Hamilton and Jackie Denkin both scored about 29-28, all in favor via unanimous decision for your winner.